Um, I must say this conversation is much, much needed. Uh, I can tell you my frustration is that we keep talking about it. Uh, it's amazing how we have consensus that we need to create policy and we need to find the funding, but we keep going in this circle. To that end, Mr. Um, Mr. Lewis, can you briefly describe the mileage-based fee system and discuss what challenges await in trying to implement such an alternative to gas tax? And if you could, while you're talking about that, discuss whether the gas tax should be eliminated if the mileage-based fee system is implemented. Right. Thank you, Congressman. There are still a number of challenges. I think we've all testified today, and many of the questions of the, of the committee have centered around um, the existing system that we have today, which is collecting a user fee through the form of a gas tax. It's a, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a very robust, more than a century-old system of collecting that user fee. Mm -hmm. um, I think the challenge that we're facing is that in the not-too-distant future, and we can have debates about how far away that future is, um, the more that the fleet is, uh, that, the, that electric vehicles and other fuel vehicles are um, making up the fleet, we will not be collecting those user fees through, this, through the existing gas tax. It isn't going to happen tomorrow, but it will happen. And I think that we have to do is work on a transition plan that as the fuel tax becomes less viable, um, that we already have in place a system to replace it. And, and it isn't going to be, you know, midnight on a particular year on December 31st that we switch from one to the other. I don't see that as being the way. I think mm -hmm. there will be a transition over the course of a number of years um, in order to, to move off of the existing fuel. It doesn't change the need we have today. And the need we have today is very real. And the existing system of revenue is what we have. I thank you for that because I think we keep getting caught in what we can't do, what's not happening, what's not working. To, to, to actually start moving the needle down the road because um, cars that don't use fuel is a reality. I'm from Detroit, it is coming. So I, I'm, I'm very intrigued by that. Um, Mr. Smear, Spear, I'm sorry. Your testimony makes some strong arguments regarding the negative impacts of tolling. Uh, you cite that expansion of tolling is far more regressive than raising the existing user-free fee. Can you elaborate on the equity imp that impacts of tolling? Absolutely, um, and I appreciate the question. There's a lot of talk about public-private partnerships. When we speak about roads and bridges, that's really code for tolling. Yes, okay? it is. Tolling is only profitable if you have a lot of throughput meaning a lot of people moving through there. Exactly. Okay, that's only applicable. The pro we can measure that very easily. As a business model, you can see what's profitable and what's not. It's really only applicable on 1% of the roads and bridges in the United States. So it is, for the rest of the country, the 99%, it's fake funding. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist. So it might work in certain to venues. The choir, but thank you. Yeah, now it might work in other modes, but when with specific to uh, roads and bridges, we believe that this is not a viable solution. And it's extraordinarily regressive. It costs up to 35 cents on the dollar to collect. Our, high, our Build America Fund, 20 cents over four years, $340 billion, less than one cent on the dollar to administer, is the most conservative, immediate, and efficient way to raise revenue. And it shores up the trust fund, and it's deficit neutral. Mm -hmm. I Another question I want to add is kind of a comment. Um, when we are looking at a comprehensive plan to fund an investment in our infrastructure, um, the toll in the private partner, private public partnerships repeatedly come up. If we can move something right now today, uh, the transition plan that you talked about so that we are actually recouping funds for the roads, but also as we continue to change the way we fuel our vehicles, we have it. Is that something that you think that this body, and I'm very impressed by your diversity, I was a mayor, so I look at how much it costs to build a road, I look at the condition, how many people are using it, and God help me when the potholes, which they're there now, you get beat to 
to be down to the ground because of the potholes. So is that, what is the one thing, if you could just give me that, that you think that we can attack right now, that we can bring forward, that you think we get the biggest consensus on, so that we can actually start moving in the right direction? I'll be happy to, I think we, we have to address the shortfall in the, in the Highway Trust Fund first. I think that's okay. what we have to do. I think that's our number one criteria today. Uh, we've got a rescission that we're getting ready to face, an $8 billion rescission that will affect Tennessee significantly, and as to every other state. If we don't address that, mm -hmm. then, then we're not going to get to the core issues that we have, and it allows states to put their money and their pro on projects that they feel are most important to them. I was a mayor as well. I mm -hmm. understand that. And uh, it, it needs to be as close to the states. The decision on those projects need to be as close uh, to the state as possible. And that means it shouldn't be in the federal government hands. It should be in the state hands, working with local communities on projects that are most important to them. Mr. Lewis. I, I, and I would think that um, as part of a, if there were a funding increase to go forward, I think tying to that would be some sort of transition plan, a, you know, a time-based study that would say, based on the saturation into the fleet, how quickly could we move to an alternative to the gas tax? Um, because until we say, put a plan together, it's always the future. It's always tomorrow, and it'll be tomorrow, tomorrow. So I think there, there's some I'm willing sort of to work with you all. Thank you so much. I yield back. 